Hello guys, Louis here and welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is staying safe in lockdown and keeping themselves nice and busy. I'm sorry this is a little bit awkward. I've got a, uh, a, a light coming through my blinds and a fly. Oh my God. There's a light coming through my blinds. It's making me look like I've got a braid. Looking a little bit Anakin, do you know what I mean? Now I'm still in the early stages of my career so I'm learning new things all day, every day and um, I'm gonna keep updating you guys with certain things that I learned that I think are interesting or things I think are cool uh, in just small little tutorials like this. So I recently worked on a commercial project for Casio as part of my main full-time job during the day. I was tasked to create some social assets which included some stickers being animated onto the screen. Now this is like quite a simple and relatively easy effect to apply. Um, I just didn't know about it and I found it quite interesting and quite cool and it's really quite effective. So all you're going to really need for this is your sticker design and potentially a back of the sticker. So just like a sticky texture or just a plain colour, uh, depending on what you're sticking down. Um, and obviously After Effects. So once After Effects is open, uh, just create a new composition. I'm just going to create a just 1080 by 1080 square. The time doesn't really matter for this. You can just, yeah, 15 seconds, whatever the default is, is fine. And uh, here is your composition. So I've just dragged in my sticker design, which is just as a PNG file. So you can create this yourself in Photoshop or if it's something you've already made, just drag and drop. You can also do this with a Photoshop document. I'm pretty sure you can drag that straight into After Effects and the same with Illustrator. So once you've got your PNG in there, just, just a quick thing to mention, I made the front and I also made a back. So this is effectively is going to be the sticky surface that will be on the bottom of the sticker because you will see both sides in the effect. So I thought just created the same sort of thing, just a bit grainier with a little bit lighter because it comes out a little bit lighter with when the glue's on the bottom of a sticker. So, but that's not overly important, um, but you know, it's nice to have there. So you've got the back of the sticker and the front here, which is just a little City Soda Club um, graphic that I created in Illustrator. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to hide the back cover or the back of the sticker um, so that is not visible now if we go to our effects and presets panel and type in page turn which effectively is a preset animation to animate pages turning over so we can grab that and drag it onto our top sticker layer and as you can see it's already applied that 3d effect um, now you'll get this new little circle thing here which you can grab hold of and it will allow you to drag and actually pull that sticker to either side so at the moment when we turn the sticker or peel the sticker over it's sort of transparent which we're not going to want for what i'm doing however if you are creating like a window vinyl or a transparent sticker then this is this is perfect so keep it as that i'm not going to need this for what i'm creating because this is going to be like a paper sticker so it won't be very transparent so what i'm going to do to get rid of this is i'm actually going to go up to here to my options menu which will pop up when you drag the effect onto your layer and for the back page here i'm going to go to the drop down and pick sticker back to so that's already applied my effect but then below here it has the back opacity we're going to bring that up to a hundred so now you can see the back is its own solid layer and um, we're ready to start playing around with the different options um, for turning the actual sticker and peeling it off. So if you go up to the controls at the top here, you have a drop down and it will give you different areas in which you can turn the sticker. I'm gonna go for a bottom left, obviously you can pick yours. So that effectively is the whole design. Obviously, if you go up to these settings here, you've got the fold position and uh, the fold radius, the light direction. So you can ch change all of your own ones. Um, if you want to change those, so change the way the light kind of comes off the back of the sticker and where it's sort of shining, um, how it folds from this corner um, and all those sort of things. Really play around with it and um, yeah, tailor it to whatever you're creating. But for me, I'm just going to keep it as the default. So I'm now going to show you how you can actually animate this. So if you go to your sticker layer at the bottom left here and go down to effects, uh, you can see the page turn is there and you drop down the, the little drop down menu there. Um, you can apply the fold position here. So if you press on the little stopwatch, it will add a keyframe and then you can go along on your timeline and add another keyframe by pressing this little bit over here and uh, there you've got two keyframes so we can animate between the two so on this second keyframe i'm actually no i'm going to do it the other way around so it flicks in rather than flicks out so go back to your first keyframe and make sure it's highlighted blue and then i'm going to drag this off of the composition to there 
And now if we let go and scroll through here, we can see how it animates him. I'm actually thinking I should have done that the other way around so that the light beams off a little bit more. So I'm gonna do it from the bottom right corner and I'm gonna start off with it over in this corner and then my second keyframe here I'm going to make sure it's fully stuck down. I might even have like a little bit. Now nah, we have it fully stuck down. Cool. So I'm going to drag this over so it will only play that part of the timeline. And if I play, oh, that didn't work at all, did it? That's the top one. I'm an idiot. Cool. So now if I play this, it should just repeat that part of the composition and as you can see, it does that animation of it coming in there. Another little tip is to highlight both of your keyframes. I do this for pretty much everything I animate. Uh, if you right click and go to keyframe assistant and put easy ease, this will basically um, ease, it, ease it in slowly and ease it out as well on both sides. So it's a bit more of a smooth transition between. So that looks pretty cool at the moment. Um, pretty simple and relatively effect effective. So you can um, obviously export this without the background and apply this over a video, apply this over, I don't know, over a photo, you put this into your text animations. You can even remove the background and export this and then convert it to a GIF. So these might be nice little animated GIF to have on, um, on your Instagram or you know anything like that. So it is pretty cool and it is a simple effect. Um, I think it's really easy to do. So I thought I'd just share it because I didn't even know about that um, that preset. And there's so many presets that I've never even used before. So another thing to actually mention is you can export JPEG straight from After Effects. So if you wanted to just drag in your sticker and then get the page turn and say, put it like this, you could then just export that as it's as it is. Um, so it's a good way to actually make your sticker designs look 3D if you wanted to post it um, with like a little bit of a peel on the side to make it look like it's an actual 3D um, export, then you can just do it in this, which is quite handy as well. But um, yeah, I think it's quite effective by um, using the actual like, animation of it being peeled in or peeled off. Obviously I had, like, had it sticking, coming in and sticking down, but you can obviously have it peeled off as well and have something beneath it. So but that's it basically for today. It's really simple and easy. Um, hopefully you should be able to follow along and uh, apply this to your own stickers or flyers or posters, whatever you're doing. Um, and make sure you tag me on City Soda Club if you post these online and I'll share them on my story. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll make sure I post a lot more of these sort of simple and quick tutorials for you to follow along. Um, and yeah, let me know what you thought down below um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I know I said in the first video that I wasn't going to ask you to do that, but you know, I've, I've changed my mind. I do want you to do that, please, please. And yeah, thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon with another video. So take care guys and I'll see you later.